In this video, you have two options for the winter tree. The first option, which is on the right, you will need blue construction paper, brown construction paper, scissors, glue, white crayon, black marker, and cotton balls. On the left, you will see that you need watercolors. You still need the blue construction paper, white watercolor paper, which is a little more durable, brown and white crayons, watercolor paint and paintbrush, cotton balls, glue, and scissors. The one on the left has just a few more steps than the one on the right. So if you'd like to do the one on the right with the brown construction paper hand cut out, that'll be the first part of the video. If you would like to do the second option, you can fast forward to that part of the video. If you are going to choose the brown paper to make your tree trunk with branches, with the brown construction paper, here are the directions for that. You're gonna have your brown paper the tall way, the portrait way, okay? You're gonna set your hand to the top of the page or the construction paper. Spread your fingers out wide like tree branches and keep your arms straight like a tree trunk with the branches up at the top. With your brown crayon, you're gonna trace along, let's see if that comes out, yep, you can see the brown crayon there. So you'll have to press hard or you can use a pencil and trace close to your fingers like so. Sometimes your fingers might move, so you'll have to retrace like I just did. And try to keep that arm as still up as possible. You can do this, try to do it yourself, or have a grown-up help you trace. And there is how I traced my hand. Notice that I my fingers are apart. The next step is to cut. And notice that there's some curved lines here and some tricky spots. So you'll have to move your paper around as you cut. And I'm gonna start at the bottom and just trace up that crayon. Move the paper when it curves. Do tiny cuts. Turn the paper. Sometimes it helps to just cut off that piece so it's not dangling. And that way you can turn the paper a little bit better. Do little, small, slow cuts when you get to that. Okay, here is my traced out hand. Notice that I have a long trunk and the spread out fingers with the branches. Now on to the next step. Now we are going to glue your hand onto the blue paper. So you can use a glue stick or your bottled glue. And you would just, here's some glue, kind of trace around the the hand, and don't forget to close your glue. And then I'm gonna turn it around carefully and center it on the page. Like that. Now with a marker, or crayon or pencil, it have to be really dark, you are gonna write winter tree. If you have room at the top, you can write it across the top. I do not have room at the top, so I'm gonna have to write it down at the bottom here. Winter tree, what letter does winter tree start with? W. 
when it, it has the in chunk in family when winter t -t. and er e r makes er in winter winter tree tr e now i'm going to take my three cotton balls and I'm gonna take them apart and I'm gonna decide where I'm gonna put it around the tree. Oh, one thing I forgot. This is the fun part. Using a white crayon, you get to draw some of the snowflakes all around your paper. And I'm pressing pretty hard so you can see the snowflakes. You can even put some on the tree, up in the sky. And then at the bottom, you can draw some snow on the ground and color it in. You can even draw some snowy mountains in the back. And snow on your branches. Now we get to stretch out those cotton ball pieces. You can stretch your cotton ball and I you only have three so you have to figure out how to use all three in your picture. And we're gonna put some snow on the ground, like that. And you can stretch it out as much as you like. So I like to stretch it out and set it on my picture first before I glue. And I'm gonna take some pieces, you can even take it apart and set some on your branches there. So you decide where you wanna put your pieces of cotton ball snow. I figured out where I want my snow, so now I'm using my glue to glue it down in place. there's my tree my winter tree and don't forget to sign your name at the bottom in your fancy writing okay if you would like to try this option if you don't have your brown construction piece of paper you can create a tree that looks like this I'm gonna show you how to do that now for this option, you are still gonna use the blue construction paper and the crayons and scissors and black marker and glue, but we're adding paint and this white paper. You have two kinds of white paper. One is a, a little thicker material for water coloring. You can use that or you can use just regular white paper. It's up to you. And then you need some water and a paintbrush. This is the paintbrush that came with the watercolors, but if you have a bigger brush, 
I use that just to make my work a little bit faster, but you can definitely use this one for the whole thing. It might just take a little bit longer. Now there are more steps here and you will have to let your paper dry after you paint before you move on to the next step. So here we go. We are gonna trace our hand with a brown crayon on the white paper. I'm gonna pull my sleeves up and I'm gonna put my hand almost to the top of the paper there. Maybe leave a little space. And then I'm gonna straight move my paper so that my arm is straight, like a tree trunk. So your arm is the tree trunk. You're gonna spread your fingers out wide and you're gonna trace close to that paper, or sorry, your hand. You're gonna trace next to your arm. And I started a little bit, I left a little space at the bottom for the ground. So you trace up and around your spread out fingers, an adult can help you, or you can do it yourself. And back down, leaving a little space at the bottom. This is my tree, my tree trunk and my branches. Now, you don't have to do this perfectly, but you can draw your tree trunk, color it, You can color it dark, add some dark lines in there. All right, and leave some light lines in there. All right, that looks good to me. Now, you're not gonna be able to see this part, but now, Take a white crayon and you're going to think of snow. In the winter, it snows. So down at the bottom, you're gonna color white. Now I know you are not gonna be able to see this white, right? Now at the bottom. Now you can do um, circles for snow, or you can you can do snowflakes. You can do both. You can color some snow on top of your branches. I'm gonna do both snowflakes and little circles. And you may be asking yourself, I can't see it. Why am I drawing on white? We'll get to that part in a minute. Maybe you guys have done this before where you color with crayon and then you paint over it and then what happens? If you don't know, that's what we are about to discover. Ooh, my hand's getting tired because I'm pressing so hard. Now don't press, make sure you're, you hold your crayon at the bottom. If you're gonna press hard, hold it at the bottom so your crayon doesn't break. Okay, I've got my, uh, I, I know I can't see it. I mean, if you look very closely in the light, you can see where you put snow. You can barely see it. Okay, I am done. Now I'm gonna get my paint. <sighs> and this is watercolor. Now the trick about watercolors, um, the tip that I have is don't get your paper too wet because then if you keep 
a lot of water on your paper and keep going over it and over and over again, you'll get holes in your paper, especially if you're using the thinner kind. Now I'm gonna show you how the watercolors work with this uh, paintbrush. It's a little bit thinner. So you wanna make sure you have water and I'm gonna pick this light blue color here. Get some water in there. It's hard to do with these little ones, but get some water in there and then you can start painting. So and see how I'm not getting very much on the paper. I need to make sure there's a lot of water in there. It's water. So I'm painting over my snow and do you see what's happening? Can you see where I colored snow? Yeah, you can see my little snowballs, or not snowballs, snow, snow circles. Okay, I'm gonna continue doing this and I did tell you, right, this paintbrush, um, it will take a little while, it'll still work, but if you do have a bigger paintbrush, you can try that. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna paint the branches on the tree and the tree itself. I'm just gonna paint inside. It's gonna be a lighter color, but you'll see that you'll have crayon and paint on your tree. Just gonna fill in all those white spaces there. And I only get water, more water if I need it, right? We don't wanna make our paper too wet. I'm gonna spread the water out too. If there's water just sitting in one place, I'll spread it out there. All right, I'm gonna finish coloring mine, or painting, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, this is what my sky looks like. I want it to look a little more wintry, so I'm gonna add a little purple. Just a little bit to make the sky a little bit darker. And I'm just gonna draw some lines. To make it look a little bit more wintry. There. Now you can make it look darker. You can draw a little more lines. And notice that I'm not putting any more water in my watercolor and I can actually draw those lines there. There, there's my winter tree. Now this is when you have to let it dry. And I left this white at the bottom for the snow. So I'm gonna let this dry and then we will come back and finish the rest. Okay, this is my finished product, all dry. It's pretty dry, there's still a little wet spot there. Now, you have a choice. You can either cut around your hand like this and glue it to the white paper. I left the white part on the bottom. Uh, then I just cut around the hand like this. You could also cut out your whole hand, but then you don't have your pretty blue sky that you just painted. Or what I like to do is frame it. So I'm going to cut a thin straight line around my tree, but I'm not gonna cut off my 
branches. So I might have to cut on this side only um, so that it can be smaller than this piece of blue paper. And this will be in my frame. Okay, so I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller than the blue so that you can see a blue all, all around my picture. Okay, so here I go. Now you can either sketch a straight line where you wanna cut or you can freestyle. I would sketch just to be sure. Notice I left some room at the top and a little at the bottom, so I still see that white snow on the bottom. I did not sketch on this side because I don't want to cut this branch off. And I just sketched a very light line. Now I'm going to cut around and then I'll see what it looks like on my blue paper. I'm going to make sure that I cut so that you can't see the pencil marks. Uh, I don't think I cut a very straight line, but that's okay. If it's not perfect, it's okay. It's still gonna look great. Let's see what that looks like. I may need to, when this is extra dry, I might go back and just erase that. Okay, and now I have a little frame around my tree. It's not perfectly straight, but that's okay. I think it'll be okay. This blue paper not might not be straight as well. So this is how I prefer mine. I'm going to just glue that on. I'm going to center it on there. I'm going to take my pieces of cotton and I'm going to place them where I want the cotton to go. So the trick to this, we don't want to just put clumps of cotton everywhere. We want to spread it out. So I'm going to stretch out my cotton, just take little pieces at a time. And this is my snow on the bottom. Before I glue anything down, I'm going to write winter tree. Make sure it's dry and you can use a marker, crayon, or pencil. Winter. W. 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 In. Word family in. Winter. T. T. And E. R. Makes er. And winter. Winter. I can make that bold. Especially if you have a pencil you, and it looks a little light, you can just 
trace over it and make it a little bold. And then tree in your best handwriting. T R T R E. And I'm gonna sign my name at the bottom because I am the artist, right? I wrote it a little bit small, just like an artist does in their paintings and artwork. All right, I am ready to glue on my snow. Voila, my winter tree art is finished. And I will let that dry and put it up on my wall. Here are the two different versions of the winter tree. I can't wait to see your beautiful art.